Hey guys, uh, home this weekend, so I took some time and started making a space for the resin printers. And I just made this shelf out of plywood, but check this out. I couldn't find plastic trays for the resin printer. They're like 30 bucks a pop, like it's craziness. But a good old dollar store, baking trays with this cool non-stick coating. I think this is gonna be perfect for post-processing prints. Uh, you guys haven't even seen the resin printer yet, but this will be the station that we're going to work with it at. And I got ethanol because um, isopropyl alcohol is ridiculous expensive. And I've just been working in the shop all day trying to get things in shape, testing out that laser cutter a little bit more. It works. It works just awesome. Now I got two more laser cutters up there <laughs> and one more to review inside. Actually, I just got to clean off the bench and get the CNC out, clean up some more stuff. Hopefully I can get the resin printer out here tomorrow and start printing parts for my tractor. I need uh, I need knobs for the PTO and draft lever and I think I'm gonna just print those out of resin because you can't get the darn things. They're 716 national fine and uh, I think I'll yeah I'll just run one off on the, on the printer but that's behind the scenes. d printing supplies and the license for this banger tune brought to you in part by pcbway.com seriously they support all these videos and a pile of other makers so that we can make content and share it with you big thanks to my patrons as well but go over and check out pcbway.com for all your pcb and cnc needs here's where we got to so this is my new anycubic photon m3 that you're going to see in many videos coming up i hope and i got the leq wash and cure uh, wash station this is the mercury plus so it has uv lights and uh, an agitator to run uh, cleaning so uh, the hard part right now is actually isopropyl alcohol is hard to come by since the pandemic and this is the cheapest i found this is ethanol um, with probably a little bit of methanol added to make it poisonous i'm sure but this is for uh biofuel for ventless fireplaces but when you look it up online it's like 90 some odd percent ethanol and this was the best deal i could find so that's what we're running this cool spray bottle it was enough to fill that right to the max line and and give me my squeeze bottle. So we'll use this to pre-clean and then we'll use that. Pretty cool. We also have uh, water in a spray bottle because I did get uh, two different resins. I got water wash, um, gray any cubic and the Soraya Tech build smoky black. This is supposed to be one of the best uh, for like production useful prints, things that you put into like work. And that's pretty much all I print and all I make is practical stuff. I'm not big on figurines and stuff. And this is my Solidoodle too, my very first 3D printer. And I've been saving it, not because the printer, the printer kind of sucks by today's standards, but what I want is to reuse that enclosure and find uh, a small form of fit uh, 3D printer to fit in here. And I can't find one yet. So maybe you guys can help me. What I want is something that I can either add a heat Heated bed or does have a heated bed and I want to use this for the ABS parts. I only ever need like small things in ABS, right? Like brackets and strong things. And this would be perfect because all my other FDM printers are wide open and I can't do ABS easily. This printer did do ABS. I printed lots of it, like that part there and parts inside are all ABS. But I think I'd be too frustrated by today's standards with it. It's pretty loosey-goosey and not a very good system. But uh, it was for the time, but the case is stellar. It's an awesome case. Like, that's perfect. Put a couple, there's already lights in there and light them up and away we go. Pretty cool. I'm happy with things. I'm going to give this uh, photon its first run. We'll try the calibration print and see how it goes.
couple hours and I think I finally settled in on the way things are going to be. Me another trip to the dollar store and we'll have paper towels right there instead of having to walk across. I've got these they're kind of like microfiber shop towels. They're really, really soft. I think those will be okay for using on the tank, but eventually I'll get some lens cleaning wipes. And I filled up one with ethanol, two with water, and then I have my trays where I can easily take one off, take it out, and get ready to finish a print, which I think is gonna work half decent. The only thing I need is maybe a pull-out like keyboard drawer would be perfect here. Then I can set the trays on it. That might be kind of cool, right? I think that'll work. Yeah, why not? I can probably make something. Then I can just slide it in and yeah, I don't know. I'll figure that out. The Anycubic Photon finished its very first print. That is uh, the test print. And I figured out that my pip towels can't go there. There isn't enough room to get this out easily. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, live and learn, right? Got to try things live. Yeah, that's a little bit too finicky. There is our first print. Quite a bit of there's a little bit of smell to that resin, not bad. Um, definitely wouldn't want to be doing this in the house, I don't think. And that print looks pretty awesome, so I'll see if I can post-process it. Also set everything up up top and mounted all my tools, easy to get to, the different scrapers and spatulas, and then some nice rubber tip tongs to get things out of the wash bath, and then the scraper that comes with for the resin tank. Pretty cool, I'm happy with how this came out. And there we go. Very, very cool. My first resin print. Done a bazillion FDM prints, but that's quite interesting. Since this is water cleanable, I think, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Let's just see how hard our first one is to get off. Not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm okay with that. Yes, I know I should be wearing gloves. I think what I'll do is I'll use that measuring cup. Maybe switch it for a plastic one. This glass one is for dealing with the gasolines and sol solvents and stuff. But I think what we'll do is we'll just give it a pre-rinse with the water, which, yeah, that's working just fine. And then I'll give it a post rinse in the ethanol solution. Okay, pretty cool. I definitely need some more shelving close by to make this a little easier to work with. Into the drink, bloop. And then we'll go ahead, I'll seal this up in a second. We'll hit uh, wash one, that's, I don't know, let's go. Yeah, let's go four minutes, why not, right? And then zoom, zoom, zoom. And away that'll go. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to get damaged like that. Probably so. It may be uh, best not do that. Okay. It did settle out that it's not being bashed around, so that's cool. That stops. And we'll fish it out with our cool new super tongs. Whether these are going to be a good idea or not. Hmm, seem like it. Sure. Why not? Let's let that drip for a few seconds. Being that it's ethanol in here, it shouldn't take long to drip dry. Set it on the plate for curing. Okay. Swap the ethanol out for the curing plate. Turn this thing into the curing side of the station. There we go. Slick. The protector. Lovely. Change the mode to curing. I have no idea. Let's give it four minutes. There we go. I should be way overkill for curing this, I think, but. I suspect that should have been plenty of time. Wow, <laughs> that is pretty cool. So there's still a little 
moisture at the bottom it seems to be cured underneath it. So that is pretty cool. Okay, this workflow needs some work. Uh, need somewhere to set these lids easily. So I've got one spot there and that should be fine. Set them on top of the, the solid oodle. Um, and I like the idea of a drawer here and I had to, I'm gonna move the towels up to there and those towels somewhere. This is what I thought. This is why I didn't get into resin printing for a long, long time. Uh, I already cleaned up partially and this is what I've got out of that tiny print plus the rotating tray and a few other things. It's a messy process and I don't think I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of resin 3D printing. This was my clever idea though. I am proud of how well this works. Check out how easy these clean up because of the tef Teflon coating. They just, just one wipe and they're spotless. That I think is way better than a plastic sheet would ever be. I like these, dollar store baking sheets, yes.